Okay, so let's see what the first question is. Um, they want examples of exponential growth, decay, and neither. So growth means it's got to be greater than 1, which means greater than 100%. Okay, so y equals 5, 1.03 to the x. y equals negative 5, 2 to the x. All of those are, let me zoom in that, let's zoom that in a little bit. Okay, as long as it's greater than a dollar, you're good. This has no purpose, but you have to make sure when it's exponential, it's a little, a little x. If I had 5 times 1.03 to the x, that's linear. So that would be a neither. Let me move that over. So that would count in the neither category because it's not exponential at all. So since it's not an exponential, it doesn't matter if it's growth or decay. That also means if it says x squared, it's a neither. Okay? Because it's not exponential. An exponential functions, this is quadratic, it has the little x. The x is the exponent. Um, exponential decay, y equals 5.97 to the x. It's got to between, be between 0 and 1, between 0 and 100%. Okay, whatever between. Okay. Um, y equals negative 5.03 to the x. But let me tell you what is a neither. Um, y equals 5, 1 to the x. Because that's not growth or decay. That's 100%. You got 5 bucks. Nothing's going to change. It's not going to go up. It's not going to go down. That's like 5 bucks in your pocket. Nothing's going to happen. Okay? It's still going to be 5 bucks. Now, if there was a negative in here that is not growth or decay, you don't get negative on your test. You get between a 0 and 100% on your test. Or if there's bonus, you get more than 100%. Decay, growth, perfect. That's not growth or decay. Okay? All right, let's look at this word problem here. Uh, it says I lose. So if you lose 7%, you now have 93%, which is 0.93. Okay, you initially invest 2567.97 to the x. Oh, create a function. If it's a function, you don't write y, you write f of x. Okay. If I wanted to know how much money I'd have after 10 years, you'd plug in 10. All right, all I want you to do is put it in logarithmic form. I like to follow this order. If it's in logarithmic form, the first thing you do is write log. First thing I touched was the x, base. Then the 6 equals 12. Let's go back. See if I make a circle, x to the 12th equals 6. It matches. Don't put that in the answer box. Okay. All right, next one. I want you to change it to logarithmic form. Play the same game. 7 to the negative 3 equals 1 over 343. If you don't believe me, you go like this. It's a great thing about the calculator. And then you go second PRB, and it's 1 over 343. You're right. Oops. Great. So I didn't mean to give the same example, but it's probably good. Log 7, so that has to be a 7. 7 to the what power is 343? We figured out in the previous problem it's cubed, but since it's a fraction, it's negative. That turns into 1, little turns big, and you're good to go. In Desmos, you can check this. On your quiz, you cannot. This one, I go log 8, 8. I can't find anything that's 8 to the what power, so I cannot do that, and I'm dependent on the formula, the law of the big, log of the big over the log of the base. And then you pick up your calculator and make sure you round to the nearest hundredth. So you got to go log 17, end your parentheses, divided by log 8. Oops, that's natural log. Let's try this again. So you want to be careful. I love when I make mistakes to remind you that we are all human and we all make mistakes. All right, 136. Okay. All right, express it as a single log and simplify. Well, when I have two logs, I need to make it one. When I'm adding, it means multiply. Now that I have one log, I simplify it. If that's 2, that's got to be 2. 2 to the what power is 8? Cubed. This turns into 1. Little turns big. Done. All right. When it's subtraction, subtraction means divide. 8019 divided by 99. Do you need to show your work? Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I don't know how you got the answer log 981 
Now it's log 9. Since that's a 9, that has to be a 9 squared. That turns into a 1. Little turns big. And we're done. Again, I can check it on decimals in the fancy calculator, but I can't check it here unless it's in base 10. Ah, it's in base 10. So, let's say I don't know what to do. I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to plug it in, because it's in base 10. Point, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And it tells me the answer is 5. Hmm. So if it tells me the answer is 5, I feel like it's to the fifth power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You do it until it turns into a dollar. Okay, so, wait. I get log. Oops, not log. Okay. Log base 10. If that's a 10, that has to be a 10. I know a decimal is the same thing as a fraction. So it's 1 over 10 to the 5th because I moved it five times. How do I know for sure? There's a five. Now, it's a fraction, but this is a whole number, so it's negative. That turns into one times negative five is negative five. If you're confused on this one, do log point zero zero one, plug it into the calculator, change it, and see if you can get it. And those are a few practice problems you can do. Okay, let's go to the next one. Log one third, since that's one third, that has to be one-third. Ooh, I'd like to make the little big. That's easiest for me because it's too distracting right now. So I know that 3 to the 4th is 81, but it's a fraction, so it's to the negative 4. That's 1. Little turns big. All of that gets multiplied. Negative 16. All right, little turns big. And then log 7, 7 is 1. So that's 9 minus x. Okay. All right, now I'm going to be solving. When I solve, they need to have the same base. I could either use base 4, or I could use base 2. I feel like a lot of you might use base 4, so I will do base 4. So I have to go 2 times 5x, and then times x plus 7. Now that they have the same base, which I did in blue, I now want to take this, Oops, let me zoom it in a little bit, and distribute it. Sorry, it got a little bit messy. So the 4 was 4 squared, then times 5x. So I'll rewrite it. 2 times 5x equals 3 times x plus 7. Distribute and solve. Move the 3x over. x equals 3. Okay. Zoom it out. All right. Now let's look at the next one. The problem with the next one is that I can't make the bases the same. Since I can't make the... Oh, zoom it out a little bit more. Sorry. Here, I could make the bases the same. So once I made the bases the same, I just set this equal to this, and I was good to go. Problem is, I can't make the bases the same. That's the purpose of log. So right now, they are different bases. I cannot make them the same base. So by logging both sides, I can change it to base 10. Remember, the little turns big. OK, now the truth is, I have x's on both sides, and I have logs on both sides. So I could either move this log here, or I can move this log here. The thing, though, is that if I move this log over here and I get a decimal answer, I'm then going to have to distribute that here and here. Versus if I move this over here, I only have to distribute the decimal once. So I am going to take this, and I'm going to divide by log 2. Okay, and I'm left with x plus 1 on this side equals log, uh, where are we, log 12, parenthesis, divided by log 2, and I get 358. So now I have 3x times 358, so I go 3.58 times 3, and that's 1074. So I have x plus 1 equals 10.74x. I have x's on both sides, so minus x, that's like minusing 1x. So if I have 10 bucks and I take away a dollar, I now have $9.00 and 74 cents, and I divide by 974. This is a real test, do you understand how to solve for x? 
it's too easy to get intimidated here. 1 divided by 9.74, round to the nearest hundred, is 10 cents. So x equals 0.10. Now I know a lot of you are like, how do I know it's even right? Okay, I could check it. So I could go 1 plus 10 cents is $2.10. I mean, $1.10. 3 times 10 cents is 30 cents. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check them in my calculator. Let me zoom out a little bit so you could see that. So I'm going to take, I don't even know what side to go on, 2 to the $1.10, and I get 214. So that side's 214. 12 to the 0 0.30 cents, and that's 210. Now some of you go, but it's not equal. $2.14 and $2.10 are very, very close. The reason it's not equal is because you round it up here. If you would have kept that perfect, both the sides would be equal. Now some of you go, well, how do I know if it's going to be good or not? You know it's good because they're close, okay? If it was like $3, it would be off. Or if it was $2.74 and $2.20, that's not close to me, all right? All right, let's go to the next one. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the little big. So I'm going to go 6 log 3x equals 12. Now I'm going to divide by 6. Log 3x equals 2. Now there's nothing I can do, so boom, change it to exponential form. So once I make it a single log, there's nothing I can do, change it to exponential. 3 squared equals x, x equals all right, next one. Whenever it's subtraction, subtraction means divide. Now, I don't know what else to do. Well, what did I do last time? Last time, when there was nothing I could do, I changed it to exponential form. But the problem is there's no base, which means that is in base 10. So I change it. 10 to the first equals x over x plus 9. 10 to the first is 10. Multiply both sides by x plus 9. Now when you multiply by x plus 9, don't forget to distribute to both. 10x plus 90 equals x. Move the x over. Move the 90 over. x equals negative 10. Let me make sure I did that right. Let's see. 10x plus 90. I think we're good. All right, now here's the problem, though. If I was to check this, and I try to take the log of a negative number, it tells me error. So there is no solution unless I made a mistake somewhere. I'll have to check that in a little bit. Okay. But I only have 15 minutes, so I got two minutes to do these last few. All right, so when I add, actually I'll just stop here and we'll slow down. So let me just, if you encounter, you go, oh, it's no solution, you guys just move on to the next one. Let's make sure we're first, we're good. So 10 to the first, equals um, x over x plus 9, multiply by that, 10x plus 90 equals x, negative 9 ups, nope, I did it right, okay? All right, I might just have to do the next video in the last problem. So I get log x minus 8, there's nothing I can do here. When I add, it means multiply. So then I can simplify the right side by distribute, distribute, equals log of um, 12 minus 6x. So remember before up here when they had the same base, I set the exponent equal? Well, technically they have the same base. It's a log. So I can get rid of that. Set that equal. Move this over. Move that over. Divide by negative 7. x equals 20 over 7. Okay, so just double check, negative 7, negative 20, perfect. Okay, I'll finish. So the last two problems I'll do in the next video.